Sponsored by the Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of a Bobby Bone show. We're so thrilled to have on incredible singer, songwriter, guitarist, producer, actor, director. He does it all, and he does it so well. You may know him as C. Thomas Howell. I know him as Tommy Howell. Tommy, thanks for coming on the Thank show. Thank you, my friend. You know, we got to talk about this. You got a great new album out, mm. and uh, listening to the tracks, a lot of it sounds kind of autobiographical. Mm. Well, you know, there's some truth to it. Um, that's what I love about this genre. Mm -hmm. uh, being a storyteller myself, uh, spent a lot, you know, basically my whole life telling stories. Um, discovered that I could take that two hour format, transfer it into a two minute format. Right. I still have a beginning, a middle and an end. Yeah. And it's just been uh, a, a Pandora's box for me. Well, you know, I got to tell you this. and I, I said this before we came down to the studio to where I found your music on social media and reached out to get you on the show. And I didn't, I didn't put the two and two together that this was the actor from E.T. and The Outsiders, all the great movies and TV and everything else you did. But what's blown my mind, Tommy, is that you haven't played guitar all your life. You only started this during the pandemic. Yeah, it's true. It's true. A couple years ago when things <laughs> when things hit, uh, I, you know, I didn't want to get on the other side of this with a degree in drinking. <laughs> <laughs> so I picked up a guitar for the first time in my life and thinking that I'd learn a few chords for a movie that I wanted to do. Yeah. Um, and that just ripped the top off of a passion that was buried deep down inside of me. And since I've moved to Nashville, I have my own band, I put out an album, and I don't even know if I'll be available for that movie. <laughs> Well, I got to tell you, listening to this album, and I love every track on here, <clears throat> but you know, you really walk between country music, you've got some blues in there, you've got Americana in there. Mm -hmm. Hell of a Life is one of my favorites. Thank you. But I mean, I like all <clears throat> the songs, and it's really, you're so comfortable, and, and you got a great band with you. I mean, the harmonica, the slide guitar, and you got Dean Miller as your producer. Yeah. Dean's been a great influence for me. That's, that's Roger Miller's son, and uh, his background has been extremely influential and, and really um, has a knack for bringing the right people together for me. Yeah. yeah. It sounds like, you know, you sound so comfortable with it. And with American Storyteller, one of the other things I really enjoy are the art. Ah, uh, yeah. It, it, the album art to where it reminded me, you know, uh, of being around it all my life to where almost like a wood carving and then they pressed it. But, yeah, you know, sure. You've got a whole team working with you. We sure do. You know, we're sort of a mom pop shop, you know, my manager, um, handles all of uh, that side of it. We got a buddy, a friend of ours uh, in Dallas that does the artwork, and he's actually handles the artwork for uh, uh, the Peanuts uh, <laughs> as well. So um, my girlfriend takes all the, the, the photographs and, and I, I write the music and we just do it all in house. And, and we've just been sort of thankfully embraced by the local people here right. and uh, met some really awesome awesome people that have had a great influence on, on what I'm doing here. I've worked with some, some songwriters like Wyatt Durrett and, and Channing Wilson and yeah. Dave Kennedy who've really taught me some important aspects to songwriting other than just trying to find a rhyme or two. It really shows, I mean, to me, like with your vocals and with the songs, the depth of the uh, imagery in the songs, I honestly thought you'd been doing this like all your life. Man, I appreciate you know, And that. I know that, you know, as a child, you were a rodeo star. Well, and that your father, you know, was a stunt man and in the rodeo and all. But it's kind of a logical progression. The cowboy background helps. <laughs> yeah. You know, because it's, I'm not, I'm, I came here because it's in my blood and it's who I am. Right. Not because I wanted to try to be a country western singer. Mm -hmm. I, I felt the need to come and tell my story. Yeah. And, and these are the people that I relate to and connect to. Totally. And I feel um, like I'm home. Well, and as you and I know too, from being around the rodeo myself with some friends that were bull riders, it's like, it's such a tight knit family, Without you know, from the rodeo clowns to everybody. And it's just so amazing, you know, when you, when you have the, the horses and the bulls and the roping and riding and everything, it's, it's just, it's special. And, you know, I think that's why your music sounds so legit is to where the, the way you sing it, the way it's played with the artist you're working with, it, there's a lot of depth to it. We try to stay authentic, <laughs> you know? And you do. <clears throat> That's the key for me. I, I didn't want to come and fake it. Right. And it, it's the same way when I'm acting, you know? If, there, there's, there's, if you're rooted in, in authenticity, 
And there's something there's something relatable about that. Mm -hmm. You know, the more personal I can make my work, the more universal it becomes. Right. So I I try, like you said, there's a lot of truth in my songs, and most of it comes from personal experience. And right. uh, uh, you know, you talked about Whiskey Demon, for example. Yes. And, and what I love about Whiskey Demon is is you know when you first hear it, it's kind of a a frolicking uh, barroom fun song, but when you really get into it, it's kind of heartbreaking. It is. You know, it's about a bar fly who buries his problems in a bottle. Right. And, um, uh, you know, I, I, as most of us do, um, have been surrounded by addicts my whole life. Mm -hmm. You know, my father was an alcoholic. He's, he's been sober for 40 years, but I remember what that did to our family. Right. And uh, my grandfather was a heavy drinker. Um, so I'm, I'm, I had to deal with those choices at a young age right? and uh, saw what it did to a lot of friends and mm -hmm. a lot of people. And um, it's real. And, it, and it's, a re it's a reflection of, the, of our society right now. Mm -hmm. Whether, you know, the, the, it, it's a, addiction is a big, big, big problem. And it it's is. a secret. And we're living in this new time now where we expose everything, right. you know. And... I think um, it just goes with, with mental health. You mm -hmm. know, if you can find a way to be a happy person and, and writing these type of songs is a therapeutic outlet for me personally. Right. And um, like I said, I can really deal with my own demons and well, share that with other people. And they say, yeah. I deal with that too. And we all connect that way. I think it's so relatable, Tommy, because I think with the songs, just like you said, with Whiskey Demon and with all the songs within this album is to where they're so relatable, but they're also so honest. And like you and I were talking, you know, we're big proponents. Like, I think everybody ought to play some kind of instrument because it's the best therapy that ever paid me. 100%. You know, and it's like, and you fell into that as well yeah. during the pandemic to where you just kept working at the guitar and then you start crafting these songs. And it's like, you know, and, and now what you have out there is impressive. It's an impressive body of musical work. Thank you so much. I and I, the only that. question I've got, Tommy, is between acting, directing, producing, all these great things you do, how are you going to find time to tour with your band also? You know, I tell you, <laughs> we struggle with that a little bit. Uh, but it's fun to be at a place with my band now mm -hmm. when we get together um, it's not our first time. You know <laughs> right. what I mean? Oh, so yeah. we're, we're down. We're, 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 We've sailed a few rough seas, yeah. and we're at a spot now where we can get together and smash out a new song pretty quickly, and and we know each other, mm -hmm. and um, that makes it really fun. And that that was the, one of the most important things for me was to have that experience. I want to have a band. Right. I didn't want to just be, you know, um, a. a the, the lone wolf out there no. doing high five of myself after a show. Right, right. You know, I, I love hugging it out. And well, it goes and, back to the rodeo life, though. It's that camaraderie. You know, thank when, you, you know, you just understand. like you, just like you did with the rodeo musicians. There, it's it's you know this this brotherhood. It's a journey, man. Right? It is. How and, how are you going to get to Sacramento? And you want right. to share it with each other. You break down and yeah. you get through it, and you make the show. I mean, it's all part of the journey. It's awesome. But you know, there's a lot of textures in these songs too. And and I was going to bring up. I mean, are you guys thinking about putting us out on vinyl? We want to. Yeah, we want to. And that's that's a as you know, it's another that's another thing. And, and mm -hmm. a lot of people are looking forward to that. But when you go to a show and you can have that available yeah. and sign a record for somebody. And, There's and just something about it because I think with the music that you're doing and crossing so many styles that it's, it's you know, you need to consume it as the full album. I mean, I know everybody loves singles and all this stuff, but yeah. I still like albums. I like that thread that ties them. And I think in this album with you, you've done that. You kept a common thread throughout. Well, we've tried. We try to, you know, and, and you know, there's a few songs. They're fun songs. I, I got a song that's sort of an autobiographical song called Hell of a Life that mm -hmm. sort of, you know, uh, looks at my career. Right. And um, people tend to really like that. And uh, we get into, uh, you know, I got I got a little lullaby called Pony Girl that I love Pony Girl. That I because really, to me, it, it felt like it, it could almost be, you know, it could be a sing along at your mm -hmm. shows. Sure. And and certainly, you know, it, it kind of had like, you know, what we all grew up with as kids. Well, you know, and it, and it paints a picture, too. You know, it puts you underneath the starry sky in front of a campfire, <laughs> you know, and that, that's what we were trying to do. And it, it, uh, I, I found whether I'm writing something bluesy or, you know, a love song for my girl, um, just getting lost in that moment and trying mm. to find um, that truthful space that we can all connect to has right. been such uh, 
a gift. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then to have somebody like yourself listen to my stuff and be able to connect to it and share with people out there, really, uh, my journey and what I'm trying to say has been so fun. Well, I think you're launching a whole other career, uh, which well, means you probably need an extra one. You know, yeah, <laughs> it, it, it's funny because this is what I want to do now. Right. I, you know, and I, and I, I just did a new series for Netflix. It's, it's um, called Obliterated. Right. It's by the creators of Cobra Kai. And yeah. It's going to be out this fall and it's going to be kind of a big deal. But, you know, I'm just focused on music right now. Well, you know, the great thing is, too, Tommy, you can use it to where your acting, producing and directing supports your music. The music, <laughs> the music has made me a better actor. Really? Yeah, it's, it's made me a better actor. It's, um, it's, it's enabled me to get a little bit more specific with what I'm doing when I'm doing it. And the music has also allowed me to tell Hollywood, I don't need you. <laughs> so that, right. gives me, yeah. um, that gives me a leg up on doing things that I want to do. Certainly. Versus, you know, I got to pay some bills. But this has been... Um, an outlet for me that I didn't expect. Mm -hmm. You know, it, like you said, you're launching another career, but nobody planned it. It's not like a team got together and planned a boy band and, you know, <laughs> we auditioned to get here. <laughs> yeah. It just kind of, it's been divinely driven mm -hmm. and um, the platform has been sort of uh, an unexpected outlet that, uh, you know, we've just been embraced by these by these people right. to come and do our thing. And, and I never really expected that. And I'm so grateful for that. So thank you very much. Well, you know, it, it, the music is so refreshing, Tommy. You know, and it's like, and I know you're already working on more songs for your next albums and all this kind of stuff. But I mean, these songs, I mean, it's just, it really struck me, you know, I, I could, it was very relatable. I All the songs. That. I mean, you know, I think that when uh, when our viewers go and and buy the album and add it to their playlist and everything else and come see you live, it's like everything is relatable. And also that you're sharing your life stories intermixed with this on the tour, you know, because I mean, you you have and continue to have an incredible acting career, but to be able to have this other creative outlet for yourself, it's been great. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing. When you w with acting, I'm just one piece in a in a extensive orchestra right. um you know this is pretty much my fault here <laughs> you know if you if you i i can't use only doing it for a couple of years as an excuse you know i can't go on stage and say hey y'all i hope you like this but i've only been playing for a minute you know when you step up and you're in the and you're in the realm with the big dogs there's no apologies right. you know there's but it no, goes back to the rodeo there's no crying in baseball man no but it, you you got to deliver that's you it. know when you're out there that's it and that's what i love about it because same with with acting you know when they announce your name and you part that curtain and you step out uh -huh. it's there's no going back right you know and <laughs> i love that feeling i got a feeling you might be on the opry soon God bless. Man. That is my dream. <laughs> Thank you. I could, I could see it happening because I'll I tell you what, I love this album and I know our viewers will too. And so where's the best place for them to go website wise, social media, you do great on social. TommyHowellMusic.com and you can follow uh, where we're going next. Maybe okay. we're coming to a town near you. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm the Real C. Thomas Howell on Instagram. Uh, I keep you all posted on what's happening there and yeah. uh, we sure have a lot of fun with that. And um, the album's out now on all platforms, right. so you can check it out on Spotify. And hopefully iTunes, vinyl. Whatever, and soon to be vinyl. And uh, we're, we're going to have a residency. Yes, here in Nashville at the City Winery. How we're going to do 48 shows starting in May. And I'm absolutely blown away by this because it's going to be sort of an old uh, throwback variety show, kind of a Johnny Carr, like a, like a Johnny Cash show meets Kimmel. Right, and, right. And, uh, It'll be live. I'll bring on my buddies that I work with, whether, you know, somebody like Ralph Macchio or, yeah. or you know, the, 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 the cast from The Walking Dead or some you know, great musicians from town that I'm fans of. Right. And, and we're also going to have a platform for, for up and comers. We want to make How sure incredible. we give a space for the new, well, for the I, young sort of new blood that I'll wanna. be buying a ticket. That's a city winery. You're so welcome. I'll man. tell you Thank how you. incredible. Yes, sir. Just great things happening for you with the music and obviously with your new show coming out this fall also. But uh, be sure, get the album, add it to your playlist, uh, you know, however you consume it. Come see Tommy live though, because you're going to love that. And the music has such depth. And, uh, you know, it, I would relate it to, you know, kind of like Sam Elliott meets Leonard Skinner, like you and I talked, but it's like, it's got blues, it's got country, it's got Americana. It's got everything, you know, in one tight little bundle of songs with American Storyteller. So 
Tommy, thank you so much for coming on the show. Eric, thank you, sir. We sure appreciate you listening to my music and, and let us come share it. Sponsored by the Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of the Bobby Bones Show. 